and welcome to the video uh, to explain to you how to get to the Microsoft Access database that you are going to be using uh, to enter the SQL for this course. Uh, this is the primary means of doing this. Uh, I'm also going to be making available uh, the Terra Data Network uh, website, uh, which is going to allow you to enter in uh, DML, some DML commands uh, through your browser uh, to allow you to practice uh, anytime, anywhere. Uh, but for the most part, for this course, you're going to be using uh, Microsoft Access to set up and uh, to enter in uh, SQL. Now, this database is, not go uh, is going to allow you to do some of what you see in the text, not everything. Uh, mostly we are going to be using this uh, for uh, DML. Uh, we're not going to be creating tables using SQL. We're not going to be creating users, uh, anything like that. We're going to be inserting, updating, deleting, and querying data using Microsoft Access. So, how do we do that? First of all, uh, you get into Blackboard. Once you're in Blackboard, if you go down to Course Documents, once you're in Course Documents, you can scroll down and I have instructions here on how to uh, get to the Teradata student network um, and I will update those and, and uh, you will also have a video for that um, but there is also a folder called Pine Valley Furniture Company MS Access and when you click on that that will bring you to a folder that has a PVFC 10E which is the Pine Valley Furniture Company 10th edition, the 10th edition is the edition of the textbook that we are currently using, um, .mdb. And that is the 2000 through 2003 version of Microsoft Access. That's fine. Uh, you should be opening it, it up and using Microsoft 2010. Uh, but usually when you click on it, or every time when you click on it, you will have to download it. And you'll be confronted with a dialog box. Uh, asking you uh, where to download it to. Uh, I'm in uh, Windows 7, uh, so I'm going to save this file. It's going to go directly to my Downloads folder. And then I can just go to my Downloads folder. You can save it anywhere you want. I'm saving it to my Downloads folder. So if I click on Downloads, I see the pvfc10e.mdb file. All you do is double click it. When you double click it, uh, in this case, since I'm in uh, Windows 7, I get a security warning. I click open, and I am in the database file. So the database file, uh, when, when you first open it, you'll be confronted with the security warning. Just click enable this content, and you're in. All right, so that is how to access uh, the Microsoft Access Database that we are going to be using uh, for uh, the rest of Chapter 6 uh, to enter in your queries. Um, so one of the things you'll notice is uh, over here on the left is a, uh, a list of uh, and the title is Employee T. What you want to do is drop that down and click on uh, all, uh, click on object type. When you click on object type, you'll see that it lists all of the tables for you. Uh, I don't exactly like this display, so I, uh, I want to see all access objects, not just tables. Um, and then what you can do is you can uh, squash the lists uh, that have already been created. Uh, we can get to those later. So all you have to do is cl click on those chevrons and all of those lists uh, will get closed. So. This is, this is the best way uh, to use uh, the Microsoft Access database. The one other thing, uh, if I right click, I get a, uh, um, a little menu. And what I want to do is um, go to sort by and change that to name. And then I'm going to right click again. And I'm going to go view by list. We don't need all the details. Now when you open up tables, you can see that's just a much cleaner uh, view of the database. 
So now this is the database. This is how you set it up. Follow those steps. And then this is uh, the database, the, the way the database is going to be as I will use it uh, for the lessons in SQL. And that is the end of Microsoft Access the Database.